Hi, Robert Medlin here. I want to tell you this morning about a wonderful experience we had uh, evangelistically. Diana and I are evangelists, and we just talk to people about Jesus all the time that we meet on the street. We happen to live in an area that where people come from all over the world uh, to visit because it's so beautiful. Well, we were out walking in a very scenic area, and so we see this man who's an artist, and he's he's painting. Uh, he's, he's got several paintings there. He's working on one, uh, portraits, landscapes, uh, just uh, just very talented. And so we stopped to talk to him and and uh, found out that he was just he traveled around and, and did paintings and sold the paintings. And and so uh, uh, as we normally do, we just said, oh, can we share a miracle with you? So we told him about one of the uh, unbelievable miracles that Jesus has done in our ministry and and uh, that, that are just like biblical proportion. And and he just said, I, said, I don't really believe in that stuff. He said, I, I don't believe in God. I don't, you know, I don't need God. You know, that's a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Some people need it. I don't need it. Uh, found out that he had, uh, that he had uh, grown up attending as a child a Catholic school and uh, had some questions that he asked uh, the priest or the teacher or whatever about God, and they couldn't answer the question. So he just got real prideful and just said, well, I just don't believe in God at all. So anyway, so uh, just as I would normally do, I just I just shared uh, the basics of the gospel. Uh, is it so? What I shared uh, was that that uh, the the beauty of that he loved to paint uh, that was that God created all that, and we can see the nature of God and the and the character of God and the and the wonder of God uh, in His creation if we just look and that. That, uh, but but really we can't know God personally through that. So God came in human form, in the body of Jesus. He was born of a virgin, born of the Virgin Mary. He came, came uh, in human form, so we could know Him personally as a person. And so Jesus was God in human form, walking around for us. He did. And I explained that He He lived the life we couldn't live. He uh, He fulfilled all the righteous requirements that God has for man. And then He died on the cross for our sins, paid the penalty for us was raised from the dead so if we believe in him we have eternal life and we'll go to heaven he just kind of sloughed it off Nah, i don't believe that stuff so there are there are a couple of kinds of atheists one is is an atheist that just is really prideful about what he believes and another is an atheist that just it's just dull just just like uh, everything is dead to him about spiritual matters um, uh, and those type of people all they need to do is just have an awakening so uh, the ones that are so full of pride that that uh, they know everything and you can't tell them anything, they wouldn't believe a miracle if they saw it. Uh, you know that it, it takes it takes a real miracle for those people to have their hearts softened. But God can do that. Uh, there's nothing impossible for Him. So anyway, so we we shared and and we we kept telling the man about other miracles that we had seen. He just was totally uninterested. Just ah, I don't believe that. He was friendly, but you know just I don't believe it. We were real affirming about his paintings, and and so uh, when we left, uh, as we were walking away, Diana kind of got tired of it, you know, got tired of hearing the guy's objections, and and uh, she was ready to leave. And so as we were walking away, uh, I turned around and I told him, I said, I'm going to pray for you that Jesus would open your eyes and your heart, and that you would be able to understand how much He loves you, and and that we would see you in heaven. I just hope we'll see you in heaven. And uh, so he was real friendly, but but uh, that was the last thing I said before I left. And so uh, we just talked about how hard his heart was, you know. And and uh, but but Jesus is going to do that. He's going to open his heart. He's going to soften his heart and reveal his love for this man. Well, we forgot about it. So about a month later, we were walking in the same area, and there's that artist again, uh, painting his uh, his his pictures. And so. We, he saw us and he just lit up his face just lit up and beamed and and he just said he said I'm so glad to see you he said what you prayed for me has been happening and so the love of Jesus had just overwhelmed him and and he had been able to to see everything he painted he was seeing God's love and his grace and his majesty in it and uh, he was just overwhelmed and he and uh, so he told us about that and and uh, we just uh, just shared more with him about Jesus, and when we left, uh, we just said we're just so thrilled that we're gonna that we know you're gonna be in heaven with us, and uh, when we, and we'll see you in heaven. And you know, he said, well, when we get there, he said, I want to paint, I want to paint a portrait of you both. And so, uh, glory to God, you know, Jesus just 
converted that atheist who had no concept of God, totally rejecting of Jesus, totally rejecting of any concept of God at all, into a into a just this believer that was just filled with joy and filled with life. It was just a great experience for us to see how God can transform people's hearts. Sometimes he does it instantly. Sometimes he does it over a period of time. If you've got loved ones that, that don't believe in, <clears throat> that are atheists, that just claim they don't believe in anything, <clears throat> pray and ask Jesus to reveal his love for them. Pray and ask Jesus to, to touch their hearts and open their hearts and remove that blindness. The devil blinds people so they can't see the glory of God and in the face of Jesus. They can't see the glory of Jesus, the majesty of Jesus. And so the devil blinds people's hearts so they can't see him. And just pray and say, Lord, open open his heart, open their heart, open her heart so they can see your glory, so they can see your majesty, so they can know your love, so you can know, so they can know how much you love them. And uh, that's a powerful prayer that you can pray. So so don't give up on, on people that you love uh, or anybody that you come in contact with. Don't give up on them. But pray for them like that and just pray that Jesus would, would reveal his love to them. And uh, and I believe you'll see him in heaven. And uh, I believe you'll maybe even hear about it before uh, you get there, that, that they have accepted Jesus. So uh, tell them everything you can about Jesus, everything they'll let you tell them. If they won't accept it, just say, I'm going to pray for you that Jesus will open your heart to believe. And then just pray and say, Lord, open his heart so he can believe and understand how much you love him. And so... Uh, that that's exactly what happened is Jesus did exactly that and he's just so so loving and so powerful and so willing uh, to to anyone that that we have a heart for he has a heart for and uh, so just uh, be encouraged and be bold and be full of faith that that uh, that the Lord has the power to change people's hearts and open their eyes to believe yeah I hope you have just an awesome day and uh, and God bless you and have a, and, and just uh, uh, just may he just fill you with joy and understanding how powerful he is to save people and uh, give you boldness to, to witness to people and share more about Jesus and without being afraid of being rejected. And so uh, there's no greater joy than telling people about Jesus and and to see their eyes just come to life, to see eternal life come into them. And uh, as Jesus comes to, to indwell in them, it's just awesome and wonderful. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.